Law & Order Season 21 is just around the corner, and we have a lot to talk about today. On top of everything, the return of Anthony Anderson to the show is the most important news right now. In this video, let's talk about Anderson's return and everything else we know about the upcoming show. So what are you waiting for? Let's get straight to the point. First, Anthony Anderson is returning, and fans are excited. The show itself is highly anticipated, and Anthony Anderson's return to the show will only make it finger-licking good. Famously known for his starring role in the famous show Blackish, Anderson had also played the role of NYPD detective Kevin Bernard towards the end of Law & Order's original run. After Anderson's return was confirmed, everyone had questions about why the actor would return to the show almost right after Blackish ended. While attending the NBC scripted press day, Anderson announced his return to the legal drama. When asked whether he needed any rest time between the two shows, Anderson said that he had a specific reason to do so. The Blackish star said that ending the comedy's eight seasons and returning to the iconic legal show right away was a complete complete no-brainer for him. He added that he believes that it would have been a foolish move from his side to not come back to Law & Order, as he himself is a big fan of it. Not just that, he had also worked in the show for more than two years. He further explained that he and Sam Watterson would be the only familiar faces on the upcoming show, and they should be there to welcome the new faces. He called this opportunity a plus point for him. The return is totally in Anderson's favor. To be honest, Anderson made the right decision of making a comeback to the legal series. It's not normal for a show to return after almost a decade and still get the same popularity again. This also explains why Anderson was okay with jumping from one successful show to another without a break. Another reason why we think he wanted to return was that he didn't get to work on the show for as long as the rest of the cast members did. Yes, he will miss Blackish, but it also means that he'll be back in a surrounding that he's been familiar with for a long time. Last year, Anderson had spoke about his wish to shift from comedy to drama again. This was after Blackish was canceled. To many, this kind of a shift would be more like a challenge. However, Anderson was clearly enjoying the change. Next, Sam Watterson is also coming back to Law & Order. Anderson isn't the only veteran who is returning to the legal show. Sam Watterson will also reprise his role as attorney Jack McCoy. Watterson's return was confirmed before we had gotten any news regarding Anderson reprising his role, but Watterson had teased his fellow actor's return already. In an interview, Sam Watterson had hinted one of his favorite people on Earth will also make a comeback along with him to the show, and this favorite person was no other than Anthony Anderson. Anderson. Speaking about the upcoming show, Sam said that the series would be filled with juicy parts for the fans, and it'll showcase a large number of talented people. This is why the expectations of the show are so high. He added that this Law & Order season would have a surprise for its fans every week. Is this going to be a spin-off of the drama? Almost a decade ago, Law & Order said goodbye to everyone after airing its 20th season. There was no hope for the show to return for a long time, even though there were several spin-offs, such as Law & Order Special Victims Unit and Law & Order Criminal intent. However, the disturbing thing was that none of these spin-offs continued the story that was left incomplete with the 20th season. This is why fans are wondering whether it will be a spin-off or they will finally get to watch the original story from where it had left. Well, the good news is that season 21 will definitely bring back the original storyline and we'll get to have a closer insight into the lives of the police and attorneys who investigate and prosecute crimes and offenders respectively. When will the show revive? If you've just found out about the upcoming season of Law & Order, then you're definitely a lucky one because you wouldn't have to wait too long. The show will return with its 21st season on February 24th, which is around the corner. The renewal is happening after a long gap of 11 years. The first season of Law & Order premiered in 1990, and in 2010, the series went off the air. We have to admit that Law & Order might be the only show that has had the ability to keep its fan base preserved for over a decade. Not all shows can do that. With the popularity this show has enjoyed over the years, we believe that continuing the legacy of this iconic show was maybe the best decision ever. While describing this revival, Susan Rovner, NBC Universal Television's chairman of entertainment content, said that the show's revival is great news for all the fans and NBC itself. Next, the courtroom will be filled with fresh new faces. After a total of 20 seasons and over 10 years of wait, the show needed to come up with some new and fresh faces. The new cast members whom fans will get to see in this upcoming season include Odelia Halevi as Assistant District Attorney Samantha Maroon, Cameron Mannheim as Lieutenant Kate Dixon, Jeffrey Donovan as an unnamed detective, and Hugh Dancy as assistant district attorney. As we know, the show will resume where we left it in 2010, so it's possible that the actors who were present in season 20 could return. This means S. Apatha Merkerson, Jeremy Sisto, and Linus Roach might also be returning along with Sam Watterson and Anthony Anderson. There's a possibility that some of the actors who had left the show before the 20th season's finale will also join season 21. This could mean that actors like Jesse L. Martin and Chris North might also have 
a comeback this season. Some other cast members will be a part of this upcoming show. However, the names of these actors or characters haven't been released yet. So let's just stay patient for a few more days and see the rest of the cast members by ourselves. What about the show's trailer? NBC has already offered a first look video for the upcoming season. The trailer shows Sam Watterson, along with the new cast members Hugh Dancy and Jeffrey Donovan. After this, NBC uploaded some more promo videos. However, none of them included any details about what to expect from the show's story or plot. Some of these promo videos were also aired during the Super Bowl. However, the first look video got the most appreciation from the fans, as it featured the classic old way of intro to the legal drama. What's the possible plot of season 21? NBC hasn't released the official synopsis for season 21 yet, but we can still get some hints from every detail that has been released till now. According to Deadline, this season might have an if it's not broke, don't fix it kind of approach, meaning the show will follow the same format of following police officers and attorneys who are performing their jobs but are also affected by real life situations. The most interesting part about this upcoming season should be its premiere, as season 20's finale wasn't a real complete and proper ending. Everything was just left in between. If you remember, in the last episode of season 20, the characters were dealing with a dangerous situation where a blogger was threatening to attack a school. In the same episode, Lieutenant Anita Van Buren, played by Merkerson, had also gotten good news regarding her cervical cancer. Let's see how the upcoming season handles all the strings left untied a decade ago. Where to watch Law & Order Season 21? Not a hard task, but let's just tell you all the platforms that'll be airing the show. If you have a traditional cable or satellite TV subscription, you're good to go, as you'll be able to watch the show on the NBC channel directly. If not, then you can even use a TV antenna to watch the show. If you're lucky enough to be a subscriber of any live TV streaming service, such as YouTube TV, Fubo TV, Sling TV, or Hulu with Live TV, you'll be able to access the local NBC channels easily. Those who can't watch the show live, simply go to the NBC website and watch all the latest episodes. You can also watch the show on the Peacock streaming service, but you'll need a premium subscription that costs anywhere from $4.99 to $9.99 depending on the plan you choose. The added benefit to this is that you can also watch the show's season 13 to 20 on this streaming platform as well. We are excited to watch Law & Order season 21, and we believe you are too. Tell us what you think about this upcoming season in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay notified about our new videos. We'll be back with more content soon. Till then, stay safe and healthy. Goodbye.